Okay, so when Jan tells you he's hosting an event and that you're invited along, naturally, you say yes. Yep, so we packed our bags pretty quickly for this one and headed out to Girona, where this race is taking place. Uh, but it's no ordinary triathlon race. No, it's a swim, a gravel ride, and a trail run over 100K, the Scrail 100. And it's open to anyone from amateurs through to pros like Jan himself. And it's called a race in very loose inverted commas. It's a gravel tri adventure. More of a celebration, bringing everyone together to have some fun. I thought it was a race. No, well, Jan definitely told me it was fun. But I only bought like my aero tri suit. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's just fun. No? What? An aero helmet? So, where did the idea for a gravel triathlon come from? Uh, the, it really came from a love, uh, love for the sport. You know, I do love gravel riding. There's great trail running around here. Uh, swimming in the med, it's tough, but someone's got to do it. And unfortunately, I do every now and then. Um, and really, it's a passion that's grown in my head for a long, long time. Of course, I get a lot of questions of what do I want to do after my career. And uh, the truth is, I still want to do triathlon. I, I love triathlon from the very bottom of my heart. I, don't, however, see myself being an age group lining up on any of the big races and competing for times. It's just, it's, you, you've been there, we've been pros, it's very measurable and you don't really want to stack up against old results. So I feel like it's a way to enjoy a triathlon without being too measurable, bringing a social aspect into the sport that really isn't always there. You know, kind of, we all get together after the race and, and, and have a good time, but you know, in the race, it's, it's a fairly serious affair. And I feel like this could be, you know, another niche in our sport where you really and truly come to enjoy. And that's my idea, that's my plan, to rope in maybe a few of the old timers, some new people who've been scared of doing a triathlon and really comparing against the best. And uh, quite egoistically, to give myself something to look forward to in 10 years from now. Well, I have to say, I was already excited about this event, but now we've picked up our race packs, we picked up the bikes that are kind of being supplied to us by Canyon, and I'm buzzing. Yeah, I mean, we just took the bikes for a ride. <laughs> How awesome was that? We just did a little, tiny little gravel route here, nothing like tomorrow, and it was awesome. So tomorrow is gonna be amazing. I mean, not that we had any doubt that an event organized by Jan in his hometown wasn't going to be amazing, but yeah, buzzing. Yeah, it is so slick. So start time is 9 a.m. tomorrow, but it is down on the coast in apparently a beautiful bay, which is a little over an hour drive away. So we should probably go and get some dinner and rest up and get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, get as ready as we can be. I'm so not ready for this. It'll be fun, it'll be fun. Come on. Well, this is it. Today is the day. But before we get going, allow me to explain what we're about to embark upon. We're starting from the beautiful bay in Kadaki called Plutia Gran. We'll be completing a two kilometer swim in the Mediterranean before jumping out and hopping onto our gravel bikes. Oh yeah. We'll then begin our off-road adventure back towards Girona. 88 kilometers of gravelly stuff with over 830 meters of elevation gain, most of which happens within the first third of the ride. 
We'll start by taking on the steep gradients along the coastline before veering inland towards T2. If all goes well, we'll arrive into Selra, ready to ditch our gravel bikes and grab our trail shoes to hit the final 10 kilometers of off-road running. This takes us up the steep trail to San Miguel Castle before descending back to Girona, finishing just beside Jan's La Comuna Cafe. Staying together, right? Main group. This is the pack. Depends if you want to try the breakaway or not. <laughs> We're trying to wait for the sun to come out. Camera go for us, but it's good. So wave! Yeah. What have you got in your fanny pack there? Oh, I've got my phone. Just in case you want to make any you've got some puff bars. If anyone wants any? Some blocks. It's got a picnic, really. Uh, Fanny packs is where it's at, eh? Well, it's just a thing because it's super convenient. I don't know why more people don't race with it. Do you reckon next time, man? So honestly, like you've got about, I don't know how much storage, more than you'll ever get in a tri suit. And then you just whip it around the back, it's a nice and narrow. It's a future, mate. Oh, honestly, I'm onto something here. <laughs> What are we, 25 k's, 26 k's? Yeah, 26 k in. 26 k's in. So, is that not even a third of the way? Uh, but so far, so good. I uh, survived the swim, and uh, since then, it's been a lot more enjoyable. It's a pretty cool gravel riding, though. Pretty scenic, too. I mean, the clouds are burning off, and it's getting a bit warmer. I'm not sure about the, uh, <laughs> the Hawaiian shirt plus the GTN kit underneath. So, yeah. It's pretty Might have to lose the GTN kit because we can't lose the one shit. Oh, no. <laughs> this is really fun though. It, it is really, really fun. fun. Quite a vibe. Yeah. It's not often you stop at an aid station like this. So. No, it's just chill out. Exactly. You even got sweeties. <laughs> I'm sorry for him last time. <laughs> Mark Matthews, how's the gravel riding debut? It's pretty damn good, isn't it? I can see the love for this. It's awesome. We had to wait for the other half, though, unfortunately. <laughs> That's me in trouble. Now it's a gravel ride. Proper graveler now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, a bit of blood. A bit of blood. Lots of friendly faces and nice people today. I've got Clement here, Clement Kovac from Slovenia. Come all the way over to Girona. Let's give this gravel a go. How cool is it? You're in the Jan Frodeno group as well. Yeah, that, that's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the moment. <laughs> Very cool. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Done. Quick transition, not so quick transition. We're getting ready for the run. When I say getting ready for the run, what we're doing to get ready for the run is uh, stopping for donuts. And coffee. And coffee. Because that's what you do in transition. Yeah. Donuts and Fredissimo coffee. Yeah. Donuts. 
Yeah. So good. I'm happy that worked out. Oh, was it? You have some fitness? Mm. <laughs> well, Jackie got them on. Look for this move, coffee. Like, you know, nothing calories? like a double espresso doesn't to help. get you through a 10k run. Nothing helping. How was that, Mark? Good. How was the swim? Yeah, really good. Yeah. I felt too bad. I didn't want to okay. do it. Already. I felt oh, okay. Really I'm not just lying. Like, I felt those last couple of times. I'm sure I was swimming slow, but at yeah. least my yeah. I didn't. I was I was starting to feel them. Yeah, yeah. There was a lack of lack of fitness. Yeah, a bit of hurry. How's that coffee and donut playing out for you then? Uh, don't figure it out why you don't have those in the serious race. T2. But to be honest, I'm not sure I'd make it up these hills without that coffee and donut today. So. The great thing is that we're going down again. Oh, you'd learn. Hey, Matthews, please. Thank you. Starting to climb now. Starting to climb now. But these guys are behind me are pushing pace. Uh, lurking in the wings here. Yeah. Hey, who's that? Drafting off me up the hill. Drafting, just ready to count. Typical Kiwi. Station. Oh, they're gonna stop. Oh, they're gonna stop. Oh. Hola. Hola. Yes. So glad we convinced uh, Jan to stop and get some water. He was about oh. to roll straight through the aid station. Air pressure. Air pressure. Air pressure. Pleased are you to see the downhill, mate? Oh, yeah, really pleased. And currently beating Count for dinner. Well, what a day. I have to say a big hats off to Jan and his team for organizing such a great event. The distances and course were challenging, but enjoyable, perfectly gauged for all abilities. And what a brilliant way to hang out with friends and make new friends. Will I be back? Hell yes.